Hey guys, Flaming Guys Review today. I'm gonna tell you guys about Kill the Courier. It was made by Brick Builder 74. Now you start off in the lobby, and then while you're in the lobby, it starts assigning the players. Uh, while it's assigning players, you'll either be assigned Eliminator, Guard, or a Courier. If you're an Eliminator, then you have to go high. They give you some time before the Courier actually has to run out. But what you have to do is you gotta hide to kill the courier. But you don't want to die again uh, by the guards. Now if you're a guard then you actually spawn with the courier. And you have to protect the courier all the way to the other side of the map. To this uh, purple thing on the other end. And so once you get there then you actually win. But you don't want to die against the eliminator. The eliminator will try to kill. Its main goal is to kill the courier. You can just now if you're the courier, then you actually have to run to the other side uh, without dying. You don't want the eliminator to kill you, that's why you have the guards. You don't have any weapons, you just have your suitcase. So, just don't die. And it's also not fun when the eliminators will just hang out and hide where you spawn. That just makes it kind of not fun. What's kind of cool is that he kind of did was he, you can buy extended mags and you can upgrade your gun. You can also buy like more guns, but he hasn't added those things yet. There's settings and upgrades, but you could also look at your stats too in the uh, GUI and the GUI. And so you can look at the badges and the ranks and the gun stats. Overall, I'd say this game is really great. It's really cool. It has a great idea for the game. Although sometimes it may reset or one person dies and it just messes up. Sometimes the courier will get shot with one bullet. You're not even dead. Because everyone spawns back into the lobby. It's still in the process. I'd say once this game completely finishes, all the bugs are done, it'd be a better game. But for now, I'd leave my game review rating a 7 out of 10. See you guys next time. Leave some comments in the below. I want to know another kind of game you guys want me to review.